Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may have chosen to leave Kensington Palace, the royal household described as prison-like by many of its former inhabitants, including the late Princess Diana. Meghan and Harry moved into Frogmore Cottage last week to prepare for the arrival of their first child. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex left the comfort of Kensington Palace for a smaller, more compact home located on the grounds of Windsor, the same area where the couple held their wedding in May last year. The royals may have Kensington Palace because it felt like a prison, which was what the late Princess Diana thought of the royal household, according royal experts. Princess Diana's royal biographer Andrew Morton spoke in the documentary, Harry and Meghan, a very modern romance in April last year. Kensington Palace, yes, it's a village, but it can also seem like a prison. Diana felt like it was an open prison. She, Meghan, is going to find it difficult getting out and about. The difficulty for her is that she's had a successful career. She's been able to get on a plane to Cuba, or go snorkeling in the Caribbean, but when she met Harry she gave up an awful lot. Clearly Princess Diana touched the lives of so many people and was hugely popular in the black community. Meghan Markle seems to have the same relaxed style. I do think without doubt that that's an asset to people from a diverse background. The late Princess Diana felt that Kensington Palace was less a home than a prison royal author Sarah Bradford recounted in her book, Diana. One member of the royal residence's staff told the author, it was a small apartment, it needed to be bigger really. They had a sitting room and a study each, then a drawing room, then a dining room and that was it really, as far as reception rooms went. Not a lot of corridor space, so it wasn't very comfortable. They needed a second reception room downstairs so that upstairs would be private, but the way it was it was all in together. They were far too important to be in such a small apartment. I think the apartment contributed to certain tensions. They were on top of another as regards what they were supposed to be doing. Even Patrick Jefferson, who worked as Princess Diana's private secretary from 1988 to 1996, said it was difficult to find solitude inside the four walls of Kensington Palace. He said, everybody could hear everybody else. If you needed to get away from someone there was just not enough space. Royal author Patrick Jefferson described the walls of Kensington Palace as closely resembling the walls of a prison yard. He wrote in Express.co.uk, When that childhood innocence gives way to the harsher realities of royal life, the young prince or princess might well wonder if the protective walls of KP don't more closely resemble the walls of a prison yard. Outside the royal compound the world of normal people rolls along in carefree anonymity while inside simmer the petty politics that have bedeviled court life since the first royal hut was raised in a primeval forest clearing. Meghan and Harry moved away from their Kensington Palace apartment last week into Frogmore Cottage, with just weeks until their baby arrives. The household has undergone £3 million renovation works to include a nursery, yoga studio, loft and space for a live-in nanny.